Hey there, my name is Adam Davis and I'm a member of the customer success team here at Lumar. And today I'm gonna to show you how to kick off our crawl. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is log into Lumar and look for the purple button on the right that says new project. Upon clicking that, you'll be brought to our four step process in order to kick off your crawl. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to enter the name of the domain you're looking to crawl and check it to ensure that we are able to access it. Upon seeing the purple thumbs up, you'll know that you're able to in fact crawl that website. From here, you'll have the option to crawl any sort of subdomains in case your website does have a subdomain tied to it. The option to crawl both HTTP and HTTPS pages in case your website does have any sort of unsecure pages. You can name your project, whatever you please. Choose an industry, which is for benchmarking, and then also enable JavaScript rendering. JavaScript rendering is incredibly important if you're looking into your core web vitals. From here, you'll click Save and Continue and be brought to our Sources page. This page is basically tying together all the sources that we're gonna be using for this crawl. So the first option right here is to choose the website you're crawling and the start URL. While this crawl is tied to the, uh, the immediate website, it will automatically kick off from the homepage of the website. But from here, you can enter in a different start URL, whether it's the store, the blog, or anything along those lines. From here, you'll have the option to add sitemaps to your crawl. The sitemaps that have been submitted can be seen by going to your website backslash robots txt. From there, you'll be able to see the sitemaps that are populating here, as well as add them manually. Below that, you'll have the option to add any sort of backlinking. With Majestic, you have the ability to go up to 50,000 URLs for backlinks, and this will all populate within your Lumar dashboard. Below that, you have the option to add Google Search Console. Basically, this will tie in your Google Search Console to your dashboard as well with Lumar. And to do so, you'd simply add Google account right here and then toggle this box right here. Below that, you'll have the option to add analytics, whether it's Google Analytics, Adobe Analytics, or any sort of manual uploads. Again, this will populate as well within your Lumar dashboard. Below that, you'll have the option to add any sort of logs, whether it's through Splunk, Logs.io, or manual upload to see exactly when Google's interacting with your website, which pages they're viewing, and the amount of crawl budget used. And then lastly, below that is your option to have a URL list. If you're looking to do a shorter crawl or a briefer crawl of few, fewer pages, simply just do a URL list of those exact URLs, and we will only crawl those on the website. This will lead you to a quicker result with your crawl and more pinpointed answers based off of the fewer pages. From here, you'll be brought to the limits page, which is more entwined with how we are crawling your website. So with this is the speed of the crawl. This is toggleable, but we highly advise you to ask your dev team to look into exactly how many URLs you can crawl. The depth of your crawl, whether that's how many pages from the starting point will click through to get to that page. Below that, the total amount of URLs you can crawl. Um, if there's any sort of limits on place, if you'd like a smaller crawl or looking to do a complete crawl, this is always customizable up to you. Below that, you can be notified if that's not enough where you'll have 72 hours to continue the crawl if your URL limit is maxed or finish it anyway. Upon adding that, you'll click save and continue where you'll be brought to an area where you can start crawling, save your crawl, where it'll end up in the draft section or schedule a crawl in the future. From here, if you click Start Crawling, you'll be brought to this screen, which will show you the progress of your crawl with the ability to toggle various settings from the speed of the crawl, as well as the depth and the page limit, and watch exactly where your crawl stands as it goes. Thank you so much.